No, there's no fuzz. Oh God, it's so crystal clear. I know. This is how I wish my head was all the time. Like dead, silent. Wait, Noel. Wait, bye. Are we done? Yeah, I think we're ready. Here we are. Are you sure he's not coming back in? I'm positive. He closed the door and he's gone. He didn't say like... I don't think he's ever going to come back. He didn't say bye? I mean, we're going. Welcome back. Welcome back. 104, baby. To Are We Still Friends. We're here. It's a nice little cozy vibe. We're so cozy today. I have to tell you something. <sighs> and you're just telling me now? <laughs> I'm so sleepy. <gasps> because we're laying down? Yes. Did you get good sleep last night? No. Did you drink your coffee? Yes. And I, I'm i just going to be a sleepy gal. No. Yes. I'm going to jerk your energy so high. You're not even going to... You're not even going to know to lose yourself. <laughs> when I get sleepy, I get really giggly. Really? When I get cold, I get really giggly. Hmm. Because I just get so kooky when it's dark and cold. It's like you can't stop me. You get different so person. kooky though? Kooky. Like a okay, we have to just get straight into it. Let's do it. Because Drake and Future are beefing. There is a civil war. Civil war? Yeah. Okay, hit me with the story. Where are they beefing? In the streets or on the internet? They are beefing in their lyrics. Even Thank God even more okay honestly the reasons the reasons are endless really? there's so much lore to why they're beefing so much back and forth it goes it dates it predates time jesus time yes wow and um who honestly, started it the reasons i will get to okay but the reasons don't really matter because noel filled me in he explained everything to me wait you didn't know everything being the drink I, I side chick that you are like, like okay <laughs> I as you know oh, I that's just right. like the music okay you're here so, for the beats yes you're right so I don't really even care about the beef but there there's a beef and Noel was explaining everything to me and he went on and on and the main thing that I got from all of it was that I think Drake Okay, the main thing I got. Yeah. What'd you get, man? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little sleepy. Let me take that again. Yeah, do it. Okay. So Noel filled me in on everything. Yeah. The main thing I got from it was that Drake is a Scorpio. That's it. And That's you know, the main thing you yes. got. Yes. And you know what, though? Is that why you're wearing that shirt today? Is this the reason? And you know what, though? What? I was right. He is. <laughs> so he explained the lengths that drake has been going to like manipulate and get back and i said it sounds like he's a scorpio hmm. he, he's a scorpio and maybe that's why i like him but what did future do okay well there's a theory going around okay the theory is that spinning out about you video never heard of it never seen it okay no no we watched it oh we watched podcast. it together perfect we flinging around Okay. Drake's <gasps> Wee video, Spinning Out About You. Oh my God, Spinning Out About You. Okay. Is to? It's to future. And Drake. Wait. Yes. The video of his Wee slinging around was for future. And he's telling everyone. I did not expect this. I know. This is not what I would thought. I know. Drake was sending a dick pic to future. Drake's a now video. telling. video. Okay. Drake's now telling everyone that video was to Future? Or yes. Future's telling everyone. Drake. Okay. Hmm. And Future is upset. Okay. And you know who's on both sides? P. Diddy. <laughs> Nowhere in the equation. Okay. But it's it's Future and it's Kendrick. Throw in someone else in the mix. The weekend. <gasps> and Adele. What? Yes, all Adele? on one side. And the other Wait, side? Future, The Weeknd, Adele. Yeah. Kendrick? Kendrick. Okay. Other There's side? There's some more. There's some more. This is just what I know off the top of my head. Uh -huh. And then the other side is Drake. Love him. Weirdly, Kelly Clarkson. Well, always got to have Kelly on your side. Yeah. Um, J. Cole. Mm. 21 Savage. Oh. 
Whose side are you picking? As I said via text, I know where your loyalties lie. And because of our friendship, I got to back you and I got to back Drake. But what I think about this, if Drake's telling everyone that like him and Future are sending dick videos to each other without Drake, I mean, without Future wanting that out there, it's kind of fucked up. Drake? Yeah. So where do you stand? Do you just back him because you're loyal, babe? Like, But what who do you leaked think? to the video? <gasps> what if that was Future? Future wouldn't do that. <laughs> what if he got upset? About his wiener being bigger than his? Maybe Drake was getting with somebody else. Hmm. Well, Drake's obviously getting it's with like, a lot of it's people. It's like a deep, layered thing going on here. How many songs have gone out that they're going back and forth on this? It goes back to like Drake's last three albums. <gasps> <laughs> My reflexes. <laughs> I just saved her life. I just saved her life. <laughs> I had no reaction besides a scream and Alina jumped into action should we just you just scream i just screamed I, I had i needed somebody to save me in that situation should we just um what happens if we let it go i wonder how many times we'll let's see what happens i mean like oh we'll be screaming at? there was a flutter <laughs> let's see how long we could go for should i just like i'm gonna go like this you know just in case is it heavy? Like, are we willing it's to really let it? Heavy. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, I got to do manual labor right now. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, goodbye to you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So, what we figured out here is Alina's a hero, and you know, I thought you would have had mom reflexes there. Like, I know. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. <laughs> what happens if Way falls? Like, no. <laughs> you no. should see my grabs. They have been pretty, pretty impressive. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, thank you. Thanks, guys. <sighs> wow, Dams was in distress over here. I know. Um. Anyways, who, do you actually believe this is a real thing? Like, oh no, what, it, oh, there, are, there are receipts. Okay. Well, what's Kelly Clarkson have to say? Because that's really what I want to know. <laughs> How did she know. get involved? I don't know. You just know she's involved. You just don't yes, know how. She's on and one of the sides. Adele's involved and you don't know how? I mean, it's in their lyrics. That's Kelly hasn't it. dropped an album in years. That's what I'm saying, though. So this She has it? No. Oh, okay. This I don't know why she's picking sides. Maybe she's like neighbors. I doubt it. I can't imagine Drake and Kelly being neighbors. <laughs> why not? Well, Kelly has the new show in New York City. I picture Drake in LA, you know, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, but I'm Asian. sure Kelly has like a house in Calabasas with Drake. Hmm. I guess you're right. I don't know. This feels a little messy. I'm appreciative that these go all the way back in the songs because like in my mind, this beef was on Twitter. Yeah. And like there's nothing worse than grown men beefing on Twitter, right? Like we can all agree. Like, but what's even better? Beefing in your lyrics. That's I'm glad that they're beefing in the lyrics. I'm happy about it. Um, I just, I'm now I'm going to have to go back and listen to all the songs. Do you think you'll really know though? No, but I honestly thought you'd come here with way more information. <laughs> I think that's pretty piping, piping well, the hot. The tea is piping, but there's no receipts. You're saying there is receipts. We don't know where the receipts are. Like, how am I supposed to find this? What do you mean? It's all over Twitter. I'm what? just giving you the synopsis because I know that I can over explain. I appreciate that. But has anyone like via future or drake said anything besides the songs yeah I, oh yes okay yes so has drake kind of slightly confirmed or and a like Matt? there i mean they're never gonna like put out a statement like with what happened it's like it's very heavily uh confirmed how do you feel Honestly, like I'm a little sad because I like Drake and Future songs. Mm -hmm. We won't get them together. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a lot more though. I mean, to think that all of their songs were really about romance. Each other. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Good for them. I know. It's too bad they had to break up. But you know, all relationships end. Yeah. Either in real life or when you die. Dang. <laughs> so you're choosing Drake for me. Honestly, no. That means like no more Kendrick. Well, like I'm... Cho- Whoa. Wow. Now, ooh, geez. Okay. Well, I'm backing... Pick a side. I'm backing you. But... But I'm not even backing one or the other. Okay. Well, then if you're not backing one or the I, other and I have free the weekend, reign here... The weekend. That's why I want to back on future. future side. And like, I don't like the idea of Drake just like putting out their business if future didn't want it out there. That's, That's true. rude. That is. That's like uncalled for. Yeah. Sorry your huge penis leaked the internet, but you can't just be dropping bombs on who you're sending it to. Rude. Yeah. Rude. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, listen, I don't, I'm always gonna, Drake is not my number one out of all those people, song-wise, everyone. Yeah. yeah. So, like, Drake, The Weeknd, but if he's but gonna future, be. Future, I mean, has so many. I know I don't really listen to Future. Oh, you've know them. Well, I'm sure songs though. I'm sure. Should we uh talk about <sighs> how we miss Get Low? Wait, like we have to talk about the setup of everything that we did wrong. Yes. Okay. First. So we were like, everyone's been talking about this J Lo documentary. Let's watch it. Let's dive in. Let's know everything about it and talk yep. about it today. Yeah. So <laughs> the text messages <laughs> that we exchanged this weekend. So. There was a little misdirect and there's okay. also a lot of J Lo content out there in the last year. That's that's right. Yeah. And and let me say, as someone who doesn't watch a lot on Prime Video, I'm more of the of a regular streamer. Like I get HBO, I get Netflix, YouTube TV maybe. Yeah. I haven't really dabbled in Prime Video. Yeah. Okay. So I'm over here, I'm like, okay, Alina's saying this is in the know. I'm gonna be up on it. I go to J-Lo. I, I type in J-Lo. She just goes with what she sees first. Okay. I, exactly. And Sarah, so I I have my uh, thoughts on the J-Lo documentary, but I go to watch it and I'm like, hey, how's it going? Have yeah. you finished it? Yeah. And she's like, I watched both the movie that the documentary is about yep. and then the documentary after. Yep. And I lost it because even the documentary is a lot. It's a yep. lot of J-Lo, uh-huh. a lot of J-Lo. And so when I found out that you watched both, but, but in the wrong order, but I watched the movie thinking, Alina, that I was watching the documentary. So the whole time Disturbing. I'm watching this, I'm like, when am I going to get to the part where Ben's in it? I'm thinking like, when is J-Lo going to discuss her life? <laughs> Literally, I'm watching this like musical and I'm like, and I'm I'm like I'm fast forwarding every ten seconds, and I'm like, like where's the 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 to like, camera yeah, interview? Okay, I know so this is what I sent you. <laughs> and mind you guys, I am listening to this voice note, cracking up, but I have no idea what Alina's saying. Yeah, I just know that she's laughing at me and yes. with me. Yes, <laughs> and then in all caps, you said, "LOL, no, I watched the movie thinking it was the documentary." Yeah, the. I- I literally, I'm, I'm going like this. I'm watching all of it. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes saying, fuck this. I fucking hate this. There's nothing more that I hate than breaking out into song. Like, where's the discussion? <laughs> where's the talking? I'm like losing my my mind. I'm I'm literally 20 minutes until the end. And I'm, I texted our group being like, is the documentary called like, this is me now? And Alina's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just thinking like, maybe they're saving all the juicy bits for the end. So yeah. I'm just like, I'm, I got to get there. I got to get there. And finally, after I finish the movie, I start watching the right documentary. And at that point, you're probably like, I've had enough. No, at that point, I'm like, finally, I get to hear from JLo. Here's Ben, the people I wanted to hear from the entire time. Yeah. But I got like, uh, there's so many things on my mind. And like, I don't know where we should even start. Okay, I'll start. You start. Shall we take a second to tell our friends about our sponsor today? Oh, baby, it would be my pleasure. Today's episode is sponsored by Little Spoon. You might be cozy and in bed. You've just gotten a few minutes to relax. But guess what? It's time to feed your kids. We know that as busy parents, it's important to keep your life simple and convenient so you can enjoy those few relaxing moments. 
I'm not even a parent yet, but I know the importance of creating a healthy, easy meal routine. If you aspire to do it for yourself, then you'll definitely want to do it for your kitties. If this is all resonating, then I'm excited to tell you that Little Spoon is one way that can help you do just that. Little Spoon delivers fresh and healthy meals and snacks straight to your door that your kid will love at every eating stage they are in. We love to hype Sarah up as our resident mom, but you guys, I'm also an all-star aunt. I'm one of the few souls that can get my niece and nephew to fall asleep, and I'm very proud of that. Apparently, I should be. You should. Claps for Elena. Claps. It's truly an accomplishment. Trust me. I'm doing everything in my power to remain their favorite aunt. Sorry to all other aunts and uncles (laughs) out there, but that includes making sure they have a good meal and snack time. With lunches that are easy to take on the go and plates packed with protein protein and veggies i'm gonna tell all moms that i know that you can get a balanced meal they'll love with little spoon well the only way i'll eat my veggies is if they're hidden so sign me up yes kind of like mac and cheese with hidden butternut squash and carrots they'll never know what's in there i've never mentioned this before but i'll say it till i'm blue abba dee da die that the smoothies are so freaking damn good i secretly get excited when way can't finish her smoothie because it means more sips for me and did i mention it comes right to your door and guess what it's so flexible it's so easy everything stores right in your fridge and freezer pop it away i love changing up the order every single time and making sure that way gets a variety of different options everyone please go check out little spoon the price is it's just right. And you're getting great quality for great ingredients. It's unmatched. I love it. Babies love it. Kids love it. Aunts love it. Grandparents love it. It's a win, 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 win for my family. And it can be for yours too. Simplify your kiddos meal time with 30% off your first order. Go to littlespoon.com slash still friends and enter our code still friends at checkout to get 30% off your little spoon order. That's littlespoon.com slash still friends and enter our code still friends at checkout and get 30% off your little spoon order. There is something to be said. Uh Uh-huh about being in a specific mood when you watch something and then being in a completely different mood afterwards. For me, for example. Okay. I watched it the night before. I think I was maybe a little bit emotional. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I felt for her. I thought she was self-aware. Mm-hmm. I thought she was like just feeling her pain that she was putting out, right? Yeah. Then I watched it the next day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You double watched? Yes. I started it over. Okay. We should dive into that. And I was like, it was like kind of like a one night stand with my emotions. Oh, really? So you were like, why did I feel that way last night? What was I thinking? Hmm. Thinking those things when I watched this, I had a completely different perspective. And I think that's just so interesting because it's like, I could do something so uncharacteristic of me in an emotional state, like think... That it was a really heartfelt documentary. So, and then the next day be like just cackling and laughing. Wow. And so. Jekyll and Hyde over here, bitch. I know. I know. So what were your like second thoughts? Like you weren't feeling the love that you were the night before. Second thoughts were, this is so self-indulgent. On one hand, I commend her for thinking we care this much. Mm. to know Mm -hmm. i felt like the dynamic with ben was so funny and so awkward because he was so obviously like please don't tell this story yeah 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 and she did anyway Mm -hmm. and he's like an award-winning director i know he did the town great flick and he's like the greatest love story never told like it doesn't need to be told told so you were kind of on the jane fonda group of like keep it to yourself yes type of thing keep it to yourself or tell it in an artistic way hire some young person to come in and bring a vision of your guys's love and your romance to life it it there is something to be said about being together and then getting back together 20 years oh later. i have so many thoughts about this that is so poetic mm-hmm. go ahead <sighs> So, like, it's, like, two things, right? Like, I agree with you in the sense of, like, of, like, it's, like, telling... Music in in general is self-indulgent, but then... But but it's also, like, people love music, right? And so, 
again, as someone who despises musicals, despises. Same. It was like traumatizing for me to like think that like anyone would watch this. Yeah. And then I was like literally yelling at my screen. Like I, this is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. And then I was watching the documentary seeing like how much of herself she was putting into it and like how, like all the passion and everything that goes into it. And I felt so guilty for being like, my eyes are burning, you know, like uh, it was, I was almost like, interesting the order you watched. Yeah. It in. I just felt so guilty because when you like you see the you work see that someone's putting in. themselves out there yeah, so you it's see, hard exactly. to not i felt so feel for bad them. like my notes were literally like what the fuck oh my god like i need to stop watching this like this is the worst thing i've ever seen like my eyes oh my god turn it off to like oh i'm so sorry like she put our heart and soul to this like i feel really bad and and like i tried to think like if j-lo was somebody that like i was obsessed with like say if this was miley cyrus and like she put out a visual album but miley cyrus wouldn't do this <laughs> but like would I be like way more invested in like a musical of Miley Cyrus yes if it you know what I mean so I was trying to kind of put myself in that mind frame and then the second thing I thought this was like really like playing in my mind so much and I think it's because I actually like I have a child so I kind of try to see things from her perspective is like what do their kids think because like to me if I was Ben Affleck's child, Jennifer Lopez's child. And like, they're saying like the greatest love story like ever told. And like, they're getting kind of like back together. Like, I would feel heartbroken to kind of like- For your dad or parents. Or like to kind of feel like the byproduct of like not their great love. You know, oh. like to feel like they wish they maybe stayed together 20 years ago. To feel like what could have been if like they didn't break up in the first place. To be like, what like- it kind of just felt like to me, like how would I be perceive this as one of their kids? And like, maybe granted, like these are artistic kids and they're watching their artistic parents and they're like, this is how they artistically express themselves. And like, not to say parents, like parents are people too, you know? <laughs> but I just like was feeling for the kids the entire time of like, what, like their parents together are their greatest love story, mm. you know? Like what does it, and coming from like, a place of like my parents are still together like what would I have what would I have thought if I saw my mom say that about you know her new husband of like that she was already with 20 years ago that she was potentially gonna be married to like mm. like I felt like I was watching it through like the eyes of like kids and like who knows like maybe the kids will never watch that and like maybe that's not in their worldview and like they're probably like my parents are so fucking lame even though they're J-Lo and Ben Affleck mm -hmm. but like well they didn't have kids together but yeah. no exactly but yeah, I mean yeah, like yeah. maybe they don't watch anything their parents do because they don't find that cool well they kept them out of it which was totally cool. I will say I can't speak for them but as a child of divorce I didn't feel like I didn't feel badly that my parents romance just didn't work out it just kind of becomes like normal Totally. But like, they're still so young. Like they're like maybe 10 years old and they're But thinking, I never, I never looked at it like it had anything to do with me. You didn't? Okay. No. Well, that's a positive. So. I think when you're in it, it just kind of becomes normal. But I understand like having happy parents being like, how could I even fathom my parents not being together? It seems like a daunting thing. Like that you don't even know how you'd handle it. But when you are in the situation, I don't know. It just kind of it just feels like your new normal. I think it was more of like the concept of like them being engaged. Like they were, this is before they had kids. Like they were going to be each other's. Three days before their wedding. Yeah. Like they Calling were going to have, off. you know, like they were going to be together. Like that was going to be it. And then to say like, I lost my greatest love and I got married to somebody else and I had kids. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I it kind of felt like to me, like I wished it would have been him. Like I, and not, like, I wish I could have, like, went down that road. Like, what would my life have been if, like, mm. it was, like, him and I? Yeah. Like, that's what was playing on my mind. Got it. So, once again, the emotions were, your own emotions were being projected into it. I know. Like, my sobering night that I had. <laughs> I know. But I, the other thing I wanted to bring up was, like, yeah, she, she didn't need to tell it. Right. Because everyone knows it. But uh, I think... I think they're not, I'm not saying she didn't need to tell it. Like they do have pr a pretty interesting story. I think super my, interesting. My critique would be that it was a little too literal. Right. And the lyrics were also literal. So it was like visual 
literal Mm -hmm. and lyrics were literally on the nose like there was no there was no which don't get me wrong you guys i love when i understand lyrics yeah that's that's key it is but it just felt so on the nose in both ways and then on top of that it just wasn't done in a very are you talking about the the visual album or are you talking about the documentary of the the visual visual album album. okay which i didn't watch but i saw like the making of my god alina it would rock your world i did see a clip of it on on uh tiktok but i just felt like if she gave it to someone maybe a little bit younger and they did something more artistic and it could have just been a movie about their love story or something it just would have been so it just would have been so much more uh digestible Mm -hmm. but it was just so like yes it's never been told but now you're telling it in the most obvious (laughs) way with lyrics that are so like wounded soldier honestly i was fast forwarding through all the music i was fast forwarding through all the music i was like gotta (laughs) gotta get to the part with jen and ben get to it and then yeah and then he was just like yeah please don't all of your love notes out in the open i was dying i thought that was fucking hilarious all of it just out in the open for everyone to see i know he was like fuck me i just i actually thought that the documentary the way they called each other out for things like he called her out like he called her out for like not believing in herself and like yeah, yeah, trusting yeah, yeah, and learning yeah. the process. He called her out for wanting to play a younger version of herself. Hilarious. And I felt like that to me demonstrated that they had a really good normal relationship more so than yeah. the musical. Yeah. And it was like that to me was more of a signifier that they were like they had a good dynamic. Did you... Okay, so what I thought when I saw that too and what I thought when like he was on the camera trucks yeah. was like they had the same kind of dynamic that Posh and Beckham had where like- I wrote that down. Did you really? Yes. So did I. Yes. Because I was like, they literally could give two fucks about what the other person is doing. Like no care about their hobbies. Yes. But like they come together in this like wonderful way and they still like, it's. It, I thought it was so endearing because like to really not give a fuck about cameras- or what, yeah, what Ben is director. doing. Yeah, and yeah. Jet, like they, they, they also, just like live in opposite worlds. I thought it was, I, I loved that. I when loved he that kind of said, um, oh, like I love that even in this autobiographical, you want to play the younger version of yourself. Like yeah. that moment to me reminded me of when he told Victoria, like tell him that you were in a Rolls Royce. Like yeah. be real, be yeah. upfront, like yeah. be true to yourself. What was your dad driving? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was very that. So I'm like that shows to me that you guys do like have a very sweet relationship yeah not all this other stuff yeah um but i was just like dang j-lo like you have a lot of confidence to be like i'm gonna make this whole thing about my life like i know i know i know i know and like like we all need to know like we don't like so we just we don't i know she's like no one's like clamoring for the next jlo album but it's like what is the i thing, like that she said that though the thing about it is like what the fuck is she supposed to do you know what i mean like she what, doesn't need to do any more but, but like what do you what, what's supposed to, like what is the rest of her life if she's not creating something if she, like she's not making art like whatever an artist does you know me i don't get fucking art but what i mean is like what's a, what is what she is supposed next? to do with the rest of her life like this is her apparent this is her muse like this is someone who brings on the musical side of her that like wants to create all this love like i feel like i related to her on that part of like her love for love and especially like you two yeah. like, we're trying to melt into our fucking husbands like we yeah. want to create one person like i kind of like really loved her essence of love like i i get that and like i i do feel like of course i don't need a j-lo movie but (laughs) what 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 the what else is she gonna do like that's what her life is about is like making shit you know yeah i i I don't know what but i just don't feel like she needed to do that what else what else what else i'm like retire but like uh, for for people in the industry like never okay uh make a film an artistic film she's already making those like but she's literally the busiest like she sings she acts like she dances she's doing everything all the time all at once like she's out there she that's what i'm saying like does she need to do more of course not but she's going to (laughs) she like that's like literally i feel like when people are like that when they're like that type a like 
like you're only making it in Hollywood if she, like she said it about herself. She's the fucking hardest worker. That's that's what she knows how to do. She's gonna yeah. fucking grind over and over and over again and like make the shit. She's gonna produce it herself. She's gonna give her own money because it's like, yeah. what else is she gonna do? Um, I think there's a lot of other things she could do. I mean, I just feel like I feel it. like you're like really, really pro. Listen, I thought the movie was I gonna feel kill like me you- slowly, but. The behind the scenes. I, I'm glad she made the movie just so I could see the behind the scenes. Which took me so far back to our producing days that I was like, I was having PTSD yeah. of our producing days. Yeah. Because there's nothing I fucking hate more than having to produce a shoot and then having to produce the behind the scenes. Yeah. I don't like it. I know. It gave me PTSD. How about in the room with Benny? What's his name? Benny Medina? That's not right. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. That when they were right. sitting in the room and he was like calling it a music video and he's like, don't fucking call it a music video. I was like, holy shit like yeah, i yeah. feel like i've been in those rooms where i've been like okay now yeah, we're gonna said shoot the wrong camera. thing yeah and someone's yeah. like don't do this and i'm like oh god kill me yeah you know like oh, I know. were you sweating because i was sweating no, I watching sweating. but oh. i i did i did feel for her that's what i mean i felt for her in, in so many ways but then i was just like you know this is a big this is a big piece do you feel like they should even put the movie out just like put out the doc I think the doc was all that was needed. Right. The doc was all that was needed. But they almost had to make the movie to make the doc. I know, but I just wish the movie was better. Do you wish they maybe just like... I like wish the, that... Oh, I, you know what I wish? What? I wish that Ben was a little bit more honest with her. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't do it. Like, maybe don't make everything so literal. Like, maybe mm. hire a director. Like, maybe... Mm. Like... I feel like he kind of gave up. He's like, is she going to do what she's going to do? That's true. That's true. You know? He was just kind of letting her do her thing. Because I feel like what I learned from that is like they basically kind of broke up why everyone breaks up in this day and age is like social media. Like they wanted to do things differently on a public level. It's like. Yeah. It's so interesting to me. It's like I they know. decided three days before because they because they <laughs> like socially they want to be presented to the world. Oh, 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 it's crazy. I know. I know. Okay. Should we get to oh, our wait. Next? The last thing I want to say is like, I thought the most insightful thing that JLo said, well, actually it was what her therapist said. Um, and it's in the, in the bowl. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was in the, it was in the real documentary, not the movie. She said like, what would the, the therapist, which is actually what I've been saying to myself recently all the time was like, what would you do if like, it was your child? What would you say to your child? Oh yeah. What would you want your child to do? Like, how would you want, your child to show up in this situation and it brings so much fucking clarity to things and like i'm shocked that she didn't because she i mean she had twins too lord be with her um it changes how you see everything and gives you such clear-cut direction that like i'm surprised she wasn't able to like move through things quicker Mm -hmm. because it kind of just gets you directly to jump off the cliff Anyways, I wrote that down as something that I just loved so much that a therapist said to her because it's like such a wonderful way to like live your life. What are you looking for? I want to read you something. <gasps> Is it something that's going to make me cry? You know. TBD? TBD is right. You saved it? I saved it for you. Oh my God. Specifically for you. Honestly, I'm kind of like having some pit sweat. Really? Yeah. No way. It's true. Um, Do you want me to start talking about like the most exciting thing that's ever happened in reality TV? What? Me watching a very... Oh my God. You guys, you guys, listen up. I told Alina to uh, watch two episodes of Summer House because I would like wanted her to get like the gist of certain characters and kind of like the drama that's been happening. And you only really need to watch two and I could give you a little bit more of the backstory. Yep. And Alina thought I wrote season two episode four yes <laughs> so i was watching that this morning <gasps> this morning do you know how hard it is to watch a show like that at 8 a.m it's very difficult and also like the early days of summer house like the and the whole time days. i was watching and i was thinking what life lessons is this show gonna teach me that sarah is yeah. like saying is super important like i don't get it i don't get it and you, when you walked in, you were on the floor when you were like, why are you watching such old episodes? I was like, yeah, it seems like <laughs> older episodes. I just could not believe that I, I misread dying. the text. I know, because that's such a me thing to do. It is. It's very me to watch the wrong thing and be like, oh, got it down. Woohoo. But anyways, there's like, 
basically the whole world died last year with Scandaval, right? Like everyone, even like your mom's 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 friend was like tuning into the Vanderpump drama, right? So something super, super... <laughs> everyone but Alina. Fill me in. So there was this huge like, you know, you know Scandaval? Oi, oi, oi. Long story short, a man was cheating on his lovely girlfriend with her, one of her best friends, broke up this 10-year relationship, the bombs that were dropped, how cheeky they were doing it on fucking reality TV. Like, they were both wearing matching necklaces. It was crazy, like, the depths that they went to. Okay. So, scandal all happens, and then Summer House is kind of like a, let's just call it like a brother-sister show, right? Okay. So, the same, uh, there's a couple, Lindsay and Carl, who I wanted you to see in episodes two and four. They got together. They have been on Summer House since the beginning. They were engaged to be married. They were going to be married in two months. And then at the end of this season that's airing right now, they broke up oh. right before their wedding. And it was kind of like that. It didn't have the same total hype as Scandaval because there wasn't cheating involved. But like what you were hearing in the news outlets were like he broke up with her, like this engagement on camera and everyone was kind of siding with like Lindsay. The audacity... To close your eyes during this <laughs> riveting speech is sending me to the fucking moon. I thought you were kidding. I didn't know you noticed. <laughs> well, whoa, 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 whoa. Who else am I looking at in this room? It's only me and you. We're literally on like a fucking one-on-one -on -one date, bachelor style. <sighs> We've never podcasted. We didn't even mention. We literally didn't even mention that we're basically in bed together. We are. We uh, just FYI. You we said it. everyone. It was cozy. Okay, we were in our Jimmy Jams. Anyways, they break up, and everyone's motherfucking team Lindsay, and she's going on podcasts, and she's fucking spitting game about Carl and like how he broke up with her. Blah 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 blah. And now, finally, the season is airing, so we're all kind of seeing the demise of the relationship. And, and guess are we what? Switching sides? We're switching sides. Civil War. Hardcore. Lindsay's going down everyone is team carl mind you when Lindsay was out and about fucking doing all these podcasts doing all these interviews carl was dead silent dead silent no words from carl wasn't saying anything the silence now makes so much sense because he was like let them see it's crazy Isn't the best don't you i think that that happens a lot it's in media it's so amazing to, to have that kind of patience yes to have that kind of like they'll all see yeah. It's kind of like Harry Potter. Trusting. Because Harry Potter knew that in the end, everyone would know that Voldemort. Have you seen that that video of the the lady being like, I'm deeply concerned for Harry Potter fans? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. We're going to go back to Summer House. Because <laughs> I'll get my fucking That they still the care this many years later. Like they have something wrong with them. Yeah, Alina, stop quoting the video because it's making me want to kill myself. <laughs> Long story short. Oh, yeah, we're still going back. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be so much more invested in this if you did if you watch current season. Okay. So, well, maybe be more clear next time. What season? <sighs> You're right. I should have been more clear with the season. That that No, it was a big mess up on my part. I that, looked at the second number as the season, but it was an episode. I get what you're saying. Also, who, who would tell me to watch episode two and then episode four? Like, just skip over three? Well, because I didn't want to give you too much homework. I was like, oh, okay, I was okay, like okay. she's got a lot going on. Yeah. She's got the J-Lo thing. Let's just give her two and four. Bam, bam. No problems. Back to me. Back to my rant. We're watching Lindsay and Carl unfold. <sighs> it is insane. Like, Carl's sober. And he's like, and Lindsay's like calling him out for drug use. She's like, what are you on? What are you on? He's not on anything. She's a like drunk slob kebab all over this season. And it's crazy. She's basically trying to like kind of call him out for being as the term California sober. Like he sometimes smokes weed. So it seems like his fiance is basically trying to like call him out on national television for smoking weed. National television national television that's fucking uh, if you're actually concerned that your fiance is on drugs and you're calling him out on tv insane yeah insane you don't even feel i'm not getting from you that you find this insane i am but like he still cheated right no there's no cheating at all you're talking about that oh. there's no cheating involved there's no cheating involved you said a man was with a woman 
and he slept guys, with the girlfriend. You guys, <laughs> can you guys back me up here? That was the scandal. That was on Vanderpump Rules. The Summer House is the brother sister show, and the same kind of situation was happening where a re- long relationship that was about to go down the aisle and then broke up because he slept with the friend. No. Okay. Because we don't know yet. It's all unfolding in this season in front of us. I see. Okay. You see now? Mm Mm-hmm. So there's a couple things that I want to discuss with you. One, Lindsay's blatant drinking issues, which you haven't seen because (laughs) season two was crazy. (laughs) But it's crazy to watch like people really have issues and then lean into drinking because you feel like you almost like and crazy to watch it you feel so bad because like you can see that there's underlying problems and to mask that you're just getting drunk and Mm -hmm. you're like trying to ignore it and then raising other flags to almost get into fights yes and like you I like I since I love reality TV, I appreciate people like putting their lives out like this. But it's kind of like really, really sad, and especially as someone not crazy. Like the more adult you get, yeah, the way you look at things differently, yeah. <laughs> like it just like drinking like that. As someone who like raising their hand used to like drink way too much, and for like with underlying reasons, you know. So it's like mm-hmm. I have so much empathy for somebody who's like, let me mask my pain with this yes it's like it's traumatizing to watch and you just feel so bad for her but you're like you're, you're so wiser. in the wrong you're so in the wrong yeah you're wiser now but whereas when we watch that stuff when we were younger i was like get, get a girl get we crazy. were like that's how we're gonna be <laughs> i hope i wasn't saying that's how i'm gonna be but i probably was like she's just having a good time yeah but it's like I don't know. I it's it's hard to watch, and I know because you really have had no idea what's going on. Well, now I know everything. <laughs> I know my PlayStation was uh, pretty spot on. It was pretty good. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I forgive you. Okay. I have t- one thing I need to tell you. Oh my god! Is it like better than Summer House? Yes. Okay. Tell me. It's about dogs. Okay. Oh no. And good dogs people, or bad dogs. People are way too comfortable telling you that your dog is about to die <gasps> what the hell lena what do you mean who They're, is comfortable sharing that everyone so people coming up to you in the street saying yes. oh he's gonna die yes for what why because he was like run over by a car like what what's going on no okay there's this thing that people do they do it all the time they ask how old is ollie i oh. tell them and everyone's immediate reaction <laughs> is how old is ollie <laughs> it's like six. Oh, okay everyone's immediate reaction is oh he's getting up there the amount of people Six? he's basically a fucking child that have been saying that to me how many three yeah. four five anyone any anyone says how old is ollie i tell them their immediate response is oh he's getting up there do you say that about people like if i would if i were to be like see my neighbor and be like how old are you granny you're getting up there yeah, that's fucked up. But honestly, like, Alina, those people are stupid. Like, that's the stupidest person I've ever met. Six is a fucking young-ass dog. Thank you. It's a young-ass dog. Thank you. That's that's barely birthed. Exactly. He's a chi. Especially He's a, a chi. A small dog. People He's know a chi. S- small dog lives until, like, what, 30? You're totally I mean, fine. 12 to 15. No, I, I've seen small dogs get up to 20, Alina. Yeah, maybe. Uh, and maybe if I'm lucky, yeah. okay? Knock on wood. The comfortability for of people to That's just weird. vocalize dog death. He's getting up there. You don't say that about people. That's true. If someone says, oh, I'm 60 years old, you don't go, you go, oh my God, you're still young, right? You look great. Yes. You don't go, oh, well, you're getting up there. You're going to croak soon. You don't say that. That's true. So why do people feel so comfortable? Well, have you cut all these me? people out of your lives? Because I feel like these people should be cut. No, no forgiveness. None. Let them go. No. If they're telling you your dog's dead. Because two of those people are my parents. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) They have this habit of asking me. Oh, keep them in then. Keep them in. How often? They ask me all the time how old. If you're listening, you guys ask me all the time how (laughs) old Ollie is. And whenever I tell you, you tell me that he's getting up there. Wow. It seems like a thing that 
their generation does. Tell people they're going to die. Maybe they feel better about dogs. Their dogs. old age. Their do- that dogs are going to die. They don't say that about people. So like, have they recently had a dog that's like gone through this? They've never had dogs. You can't trust their opinion. <laughs> they don't know shit about it's kids. It's not just them. It happened to me. It happens to me walking out and about on the streets. I think we need to cut you off from all humankind. Because I don't know who you're bumping into, but I don't like these people. Come on. No one's ever. No one's ever said to me, mm, your dog's going to go. Well, not with those words, but oh, they're getting up there. No. Has anyone ever asked Archie's age? A lot of people because he's so beautiful and he's so and what, what do you say? How I'm old like, is he? I'm like, well, we rescued him and he's been through so much and he could be around four. We're not sure. Oh, you lead up with that? Of course no one's responding. Yeah. with that he's getting up there exactly. i don't lead on that all he was a rescue running around the oh i like to make sure everyone knows because people a lot of the time people go can i pet your dog and i'm like no so they're like why and i'm like well he was basically of tortured. course you're setting up a sob story everyone thinks ollie's like mr prancer like not me like, i little, don't think that about ollie a private school dog he looks private school yes so everyone's quick to, school. to undermine his life longevity <laughs> It's just a weird thing to say. Even if a dog was super old, you know what? Maybe they feel comfortable saying it because they know he's not going to die soon. Because if that dog was about to croak, no one would be like, he's near the grave. So, so they, maybe they're just like trying to like throw a joke your way because they know you're funny and they're like, ha ha, this is going to fucking ruin Alina's day. It's people I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Huh. They don't know I'm funny. <laughs> 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 thank you maybe they heard you cracking jokes on your walk with ollie and they're like hmm i'm gonna make this girl laugh you know i'm trust. i'm spinning here i know i'm spinning know. out i know could you just ever think of saying that to an any never. dog no never so psa if you're listening to this and you have a habit of this being must be like, like older generation they're getting up there it must be it must be don't say that no the, it messed me up all night <gasps> Oh, intrusive can. thoughts you should be the pigeon i know i know you gotta but let that go so much so that i i brought it to your attention today well, because it's been it. bothering me for so long just like don't say that you don't say that to people let me give you some reassurance okay that dog is nowhere fucking near death and i'm gonna have to live with his existence and his barking out my fucking door over and over and over again i, I he, uh, I don't even, I'll never come a day when this dog doesn't exist because he gets to have that young man energy. And he, he is a young man. He is. He has a big dick. So <laughs> there's no way he's going anywhere. He's here for life. Don't is you worry. Is that a correlation? I think so. Dick size? I think the same life? with Drake. He'll, he'll be around too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so there's something I want to bring to your attention. Okay. Because that made me think of you and I was like, mm, this is right up Elena's alley. Up my alley. Pillow industry. We have a fucking pickle with them, don't we? We have yes. a pickle. No, with I, a have a, I have a, I have a, problem. yeah, but I jump on your bandwagon because I'm a good no. friend. I don't, I don't throw away my pillows for Christ's sake, <laughs> but I'll defend you with your pillow assassination game. Okay. You know, pillows. What's the fucking point? Who started the pillow industry? What's going on? Pillows to me equal spoons. Why the fuck are there two size spoons and two size forks? We can all get by with one size. Let's make it just a middle size. Why do we have to buy two different sizes? Now I got 15 spoons so that are really pillows big. or is this about utensils? It's about utensils. I'm talking about maybe Because you wrote the- pillow equals spoon. spoon. Because like, what's the mafia game behind this? Like pillow industry. Well, we took a whole etiquette class. Pillow industry could also be behind the spoon industry. Behind the fork industry. Why is there no two size knives? Actually, there could be. There's two sizes of everything. Like, that's think- America. You don't think that's happening in Australia? You don't think they have a, a big size, small size spoon game? I do. I do. But I'm just saying like choice is galore. I know. But the, here they are making us buy all well, the Let me ask utensils. you something. Little spoon? Little fork? Big spoon? Big fork? Always little spoon, little fork. Me too. Always. Me too. If someone hands me a big fork, everything, spoon, I'm like, oh. Everything is being eaten with a teaspoon. Yeah. So same. there's more bites. Same, 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 same. Yeah, same. I'm using a little salad fork for everything. We in my house, we always run out of little spoons and little forks first, and I'll have to. If there's none, I'm like, great. I have to go in the dishwasher. Yeah. What wash monster by hand. is eating with a a tablespoon 
size. It's a massive spoon. It's massive. You can't even well, get you're it gonna in your eat mouth. your cereal in three bites. That's fun. I know. Can you get that whole spoon in your mouth? It could, does it scrape the yeah, sides? It does. It, you can get it in your okay, mouth. Okay, well, don't brag. <laughs> Come on. Well, it'd just be like, yeah, it fucking scrapes my sides. Does it? No. Oh, fuck. It, it just like, it, the food evaporates so quick. It's a tablespoon. I'm like slurping off the spoon. I'm not even, I'm not one spooning bite. So I'm being less etiquette. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I had a little spoon, it's in. Yeah. A big spoon? Yeah. That's me. Yeah. It's not, that's not appropriate. Yeah. I shouldn't be doing that in public. I know. At all. So do you, are you, are you with me? Should I'm, we destroy all big utensils? I'm with you. Okay. I've only ever seen one, f- one knife. No, but think of the butter knife. The little motherfucker. Oh yeah. You see those on charcuterie. Yeah. Those can go though. Exactly. Like you, can't, you can't, that one, I will take the big knife. I'll take a big knife too. Yeah. So knives are the same typically. Yeah. But we'll have to double up yeah. on our purchases. I've never gone to someone's house and only seen one size fork. You but always you have could options. You be that person. I know. I know. Even in the little like utensil like thing that you keep in your drawer. I know. There's too many slots. There's so many slots because there's so many different sizes. Yeah. Imagine one, two, three. Knife, fork, spoon. That's it. Spork. What? A- mm, you crossed really the line. Spork, you crossed the line. <sighs> Bring back sporks. That would be really nice. Imagine your life if you only just needed a spork. You just carried it in your pocket. And you're like, don't worry about me. I got my spork. <laughs> <laughs> be kind of nice sarah sporky <laughs> be my middle name when's the last time you used a spork it had to be elementary i used one yesterday it came with my food and i was like this is kind of nice <sighs> what'd you get a sushi you use a utensil for sushi that's a i was so lazy <laughs> that's utensil free zone you pop 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 pop, pop. i know I know. I don't know what came over me. I just saw the spork and I thought, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Maybe since I was in a cafeteria. Exactly. Let me use it. Hmm. Okay. That's fun then. Okay. But you didn't keep it. You tossed it. Oh, yeah. I tossed it. It was plastic. Okay. It was plastic. So we're sitting here on this bed. And do you think my toes have shown this entire episode? I think not. I think they've, they've kept in. We were talking about our toes earlier. And Noelle said I could make money off my toes. You could. But like how much? You know what I, what game I like to play? What? Like. <gasps> that. Wraps us up. Wraps us up. This episode is concluded here. Yeah. But we will continue on in the bonus, which you can find at patreon.com slash awsfpod. And we will be doing, are we still talking? Yep. And we're going to talk. We're going to talk more about some and this games. cozy lovely bed vibe where i may fall asleep while sarah talks <laughs> could you imagine you guys could you imagine i know like when pe- i'm gonna save it for the bonus okay See bye you